pleasure and an honor to be here. Uh, just as it was a pleasure and an honor, a pleasure always for poetry for me, uh, labor of love and all that, um, but an honor to also finally get a chance to work on the Jewish issue uh, in Lithuania. I, I grew up in upstate New York and I had a lot of Jewish friends and there were no Lithuanians there besides my family. And uh, some of the, my Jewish friends had roots uh, in this part of the world and, and I always wondered what, what the relationship was uh, terms of identity, ethnic identity, national identity, are they, are they Lithuanian or, or not? Uh, and, and this is related to my own issue, am I American or Lithuanian? What is my identity exactly? And I never knew how to write about that and I had a conversation with my department secretary um, and that triggered a warning in me that, that the things she was saying were maybe dangerous uh, in terms of identity. Um, and, I, and it was a way for me to finally try to address these issues, and I tried to do it with a bit of humor and uh, absurdity, and God knows if that's adequate, I don't know, um, but it was my first poem on this theme, and, and I'm very pleased I could uh, write something about it, at least. Um, so, uh, so I'll read my poem first, uh, Apples and Oranges. <clears throat> I was peeling an orange, and the department secretary said, you should eat an apple instead, because it's local, and our bodies have evolved to eat local food. So the apple belongs, while the orange does not. Well, I thought, since Jesus spoke in parables, and we walk here under crosses, who is who? There is Selmas working the land, growing his gnarly apple trees, trunks painted white against disease, and Ahasuerus, the wandering Jew, a foreign fruit lacking local roots. Thus her nutritional advice may be boiled down to this, let us cast aside all oranges so that the body of our people should grow strong. Well, I told her, I don't think that's true. Vitamins are vitamins, and oranges have quite a lot. Besides, whence these apple trees and the potato, our national food, is something hoary national heroes never ate. It comes from dark-skinned Inca roots. I come from the New World, too, despite my Gentile Lithuanian stock, and I suspect this grafted apple tree has some foreign strain. Orange I am, then, <clears throat> eating with glee wandering Europe, wandering the world, a wandering Jew who imagines in his folly that the great synagogue of Vilnius, rising from its roots like an ancient oak, still stands. And now uh, I will read Donaldus Caiocas' poem. <clears throat> it comes in two parts. It's called, You Can't Lose the Song for the Words. One, a child in a tree, the tree stuck in a farmstead snowdrift. In that drift, oh ho, mana droplets begin to fall from firs. But who's that there? Maybe God returning? Another blip and we'll be dangerously close if we turn our heads or even stir Jerusalem way. <clears throat> Two, Sabbaths dusty from the road, Solomon's gates out to the barrens. Your sleep and the awakening birds are just reflections. Yes, he spoke that way then, and we asked, so what, Rabbi, is real? Only hope, he said, is really real. Thank you very much.